So, um, it's Siobhan here. So, today I am reviewing this chicken karma. I've just reviewed these onion barges and they're both from Lido's. So, yeah. So, if you like um, vegetable samosas, please go out and check out that video. So, now we're concentrating on this chicken karma. I do normally like me um, ch chicken tikka kind of one. So I'll just go through what's on the instructions. So I, um, I put this in my quave. Um, I don't really tend to put my uh, meals like this in the oven. They take longer than. Plus I've heard stories about these plastic containers. I think some of them can melt. So I just, I just leave it in my quave. And I've not had no problems. So this is chicken karma with pula rice. So it's like a yellow colour. So you, so you cook cook it in like, like eleven minutes. But what you do, you it tells you the instructions. So I could just go to instructions. Um, there you go. It's easy to do. You just um pierce the film in several places. Then you put it on for six minutes. Then take the cover off a little bit on each and and add water um i've also added a bit of water to me um curry because cause i've noticed in the past um it's gone a bit like dry so and then i have dry rice if you get what i mean and you add water so yeah it even tells you on this one actually some of them don't but i always add um water to me rice now definitely so it tells you there then we will look at the um, ingredients. So this is chicken breast pieces in a karma sauce with coconut and onion cooked long grain rice. So as you can see here. 500 grams. This is the nutrient information. And then this is the additional information. As you can see, it's from Lido's. Um, what else is there? Oh, and it's got storage as well. Then it just gives you like the mild symbol and then the traffic light system. So this is quite a bit of an eye kind of meal. So yeah, so we we're gonna give it a go. So I've covered all the information. So as you can see, this is the rice. I like you said I've added water. Actually, it did it did say tea, um, two tablespoons or teaspoons, but I just went up to the tap and just guessed it. But I like to pour a bit more water in because it goes too dry otherwise. So yeah. God, um, I should like hold down. It's really nice. Like it says, if I didn't add that much water, I think it would have gone all dry because I've had that experience before. This is really nice. With a bit of extra water, yeah. It's really nice and soft like rice is supposed to be um, fluffy. It's really nice. I can see the onion barge as well. I need to eat them. So this is for like me breakfast and dinner. I'm going to try and do some um, DIYs and stuff as well. I'll try and get some done today. I know what I've been saying this for like a few weeks. I've just been trying to find some bits and bats as well to do. And I'm doing all for me DIYs to try and finish like the complete look off if you get what I mean so I still need to buy some materials so I'm gonna get some done anyway it's coming up to Christmas well so I might try and do some DIYs on Christmas little ornament kind of decorations anyway this is the sauce so I'll try the sauce first mm, it's nice it's quite nice I can taste the 
um creamy kind of coconut so what is it it just says coconut with onions can't really taste onions in it don't know if there's any pieces of onions i normally like to count my chicken pieces but i can see you don't get many what i do i just put in my rice so there's one there's quite big pieces two three four five and a small one plus a six Right, uh, look, there's seven. Like a tiny one there. So there's, like, I would say seven pieces. And this is all sauce now. So I'm going to try a bit of chicken by itself. It's rather nice chicken. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, yeah, like like you said, like you said in the microwave. Well, not like you said. I mean, like I said, um, in microwave meals, you don't get much chicken, do you? But if there's only one of you, or like certain types of like, like sweet and sour, like curries, etc. My maid only likes the one what I make. Because she finds the other ones like shop bought. She's not keen on them. But I don't mind them. So yeah. Mm. Yeah so. Sorry. So yeah so the chicken's not dry. It's really nice and cooked. Everything. There's no gristle nothing. Would I buy this again? Yes I would. But I normally try and buy the um budget ones they're not at 75 pence because i've noticed um um i noticed with this one is 400 grams that one and then also the 75 pence one in lidos and that was same but um it was same like amount so yeah i definitely like this one um though there was another one what i reviewed for 75 pence and that was a chinese um chicken curry one and yeah so um if, if you go and watch that video and then i'll tell you what i think of it so yeah you can't go wrong for these like budget kind of ones now i know probably ages ago a long time ago the bread everything was when they was cheap they they weren't very great but now because they've improved it to try and help people out i guess but yeah I would rather try and save as much money as in like instead of buying like brand stuff if you get what I mean. Yeah, because the supermarket zone is just as nice. Also I'm gonna start doing um a new um category by just doing Lidl's versus Aldi's because they're very similar stars um stars. And they both um come from Germany um or, or somewhere like that um yeah and also um they do like roughly the same prices but i want to check out um and see if they both taste same or if they both taste different or whatever so i'm gonna start doing videos on that but i do i know i've said this in the last videos few videos i want to go on my diet I'm going to try and do an egg diet, but I do need to still get some scales. So, I might go and get some scales, actually, this week. So, yeah. So, um, so once I start my egg diet, I'll be just doing, like, an update um, every day or or every few days and show you how much I've lost. Um, I have done the egg diet before. It is quite a good, good one, but it is a bit boring to do but it helps you to lose weight fast so yeah and it'd be good for in christmas um to slim down for me um what was got to say yes yeah, so once 
um so yeah so once i'm on my diet i'm going to have to stop all these food reviews for a little bit but i uh, but i'll definitely be back with them but then in the meantime i'll probably concentrate on like pain in um, um do you know like room makeovers also there be diys nail art other light product reviews i've got a few things in mind so yeah and i and i probably will be still doing like shopping hauls etc so yes yeah, so i'm gonna um leave it there now and stop rambling so yeah so if you like this video give me a thumbs up comment and maybe consider to subscribe so i'll see you again soon take care bye